Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Every Data Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in law and data science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on data demo regarding sign up activation rate using PostgreSQL and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is medium and this question has been asked in TikTok interviews. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, new TikTok users sign up with their emails. They confirm their sign up by replying to the text confirmation to activate their accounts. User may receive multiple text messages for account confirmation until they have confirmed their new account. A senior analyst is interested to know the activation rate of specified users in the emails table. Write a query to find the activation rate, round the percentage to two decimal places. Definitions emails table contain the information of user sign up details and text table contains the user's activation information. There are two assumptions. The analyst is interested in activation rate of specific users in the emails table, which may not include all users that could potentially be found in the text table. For example, user one, two, three in the emails table may not be in the text table and vice versa. And remember the analyst wants what for all the users that are in the emails table, right? So basically there are two tables. So first table is emails with three different columns, email ID, user ID, and sign up date. And here is an example of that. So we have, uh, you know, three different users, uh, three different email IDs, uh, and then text. So te uh, again, three columns, text ID, email ID, and sign up activation. Uh, it has various, so for example, for email ID 125, right? So 125 belongs to user ID 7771, and it was confirmed, right? Then for 236, right? So email ID 236, uh, it was sent twice the first time it was not confirmed and then it was confirmed so obviously in the emails table how many people are there or how many users are there three so and how many email ids associated with them three right so out of these three we need to make sure like how many of them has confirmed so 125 and 236 125 confirmed 236 confirmed right so two out of three have been confirmed so that is 0.67 right so that is what we had going to have in the output as confirmation rate so basically since we are or the analyst is only interested in knowing like the confirmation rate for users that are in the emails table right so what we can do is from this emails table we can you know left join the text table on email id and uh, what we can have is let me you know let's join this so from emails table aliased as e let's left to join the text table aliased as t on e dot email id is equal to t dot email id okay let me run this let's see what we are having right so basically for each of these so for example uh, user id 6950 right so if this person was sent two emails the first email the person did not confirm but for the second one they confirmed there are other user ids where you know the, there was no email sent so obviously there is nothing you know inside the table right similarly uh, for uh, for a person like uh, 8963 two emails were sent However, uh, both of them were not confirmed and things like that. Okay, so basically what we need to do is once we have this information, then how can we find out uh, that, that confirmation rate? So obviously, if we count, you know, that wherever your sign up action is confirmed, you assign that value as one, else you assign that value at zero and you sum the entire thing. So that is going to give you the total value of or the total sum of the number of users who have confirmed and then you can divide by the count of distinct user IDs, right? So that is going to give you the confirmation rate. So let's do that. So return now case when your, uh, okay, so this uh, column name sign up activation, sign up action belongs to text table, right? So t dot sign up action, right? Is equal to confirmed, right? Is equal to confirmed then you assign the value one else you assign the value zero since you started a case when statement you need to end it right and once you assign these values then you need to sum it up right sum this entire thing and then what you need to do is you need to divide this by count of distinct user ids and user id belong to which table uh the emails table right so we write e dot e dot user id so this is going to give you the fraction of confirmation rate we need to multiply it by 1.0 why 
because we have discussed multiple times in the previous videos the problem of integer division right and that is why we need to multiply it by 1.0 and let's alias this as uh, whatever is required in the output so as confirm rate right as confirm rate uh, let me run this right now the solution is not yet complete but let me run this so okay so this is 0.333 but we also need to round this to two decimal places right round percentage to two decimal places so we need to round this entire thing to two decimal places okay let me go ahead and run this let's see okay so now the confirmation rate is basically 0.33 let me go ahead and submit it so if it passes all the test cases so this is accepted and this is how we do it again not a very difficult question all we had to do was you know from this emails we tried to make sure that okay for each of the emails sent what was the sign up action associated with it so we performed a left join on the column email id and then what we did was we used case win statements to get the number of uh, those user ids who were already confirmed so you can divide it by the total number of user ids multiplied by 1.0 to avoid any problems with integer division then uh, we rounded off to two decimal places and aliases to whatever was required so yeah this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i will see you guys in the next video